Now you we can use our decorator not just for this one function, which one? Not just for the function foo. Say we have another function. Let me call that same function which we had defined earlier. Defined succ which took x and what did it what did it print or what did it return? Okay, or let's print it out for now. Print x plus 1. That's what it printed, right? Even if this function is decorated, but remember the parameter should always be 1. It should be the same as the function wrapper for now. We'll understand how to get arbitrary parameters. But if we decorate this also with at our decorator, and now after calling foo, if I call succ, of 11 you will think if you had called succ without the decorator it would have printed 11 plus 1 that is 12 but now when because the succ is decorated with our decorator let's see what the output is going to be so it says the first time it called fu foo foo of hi it because it was decorated it said before calling foo hi i am foo with x value as high after calling foo then when you called SUCC of 11, it first said before calling SUCC, then it sent 12, then it said after calling SUCC. Again, it was this particular decorator being called before the function. Yes. So we can decorate that. Okay. Can you decorate third party functions? What is the meaning of third party functions? Did we use some third party functions today? Yes, we did. We did in previous modules. Somewhere, let me say, just I'll show it to you. If uh, we used math, yes. If you remember, import math, we used the module math. We imported the module and we used a method of math with calling as math.sign. And we used another method called as math.cos. We did that, right? Let me see if I can decorate these particular functions. Okay. So what is going to happen? Let's say, let's say I'll just comment this out. We can use this later if needed. So I've commented this and now I'm going to say, let me say from math, I'm going to import. So this is, I'm importing the function sign and cos directly. I'm not importing the entire math module, but I'm importing the functions sign and cos from the math module. Okay. And then I'm going to say def, of course, our decorator, which is going to be the same as this. I'll just copy paste this for now. It's the same as our, you know, this is what we wanted. And uh, I need to decorate. We'll pass our the function that is sign, which is this finds function, this sign, I am passing it to our decorator. This is going to return to me a function wrapper, which means it is going to return to me another object or another function. There is nothing but I can take it as sign. I will save it in sign. Cause is also going to be decorated with our decorator. Now, all I need to do is call sign or cause. So sign of, let me say, 2 or cos of 2. What is it going to do? I need to print this out. I can't, I can't just call it. I need to print it. And I'm also going to print cos of 2. Right? Or, yeah. Let me see what this does. Oops. Uh, it returned to me none because it is not we are not returning anything so what we can do is we can just redefine this function a bit instead of saying function of x because function of x is nothing but sine of x i'll print the function of x here itself which means i can't return i don't need to print it i just need to call it call the sine of 2 and i'm printing that sine of x here okay function f5 okay so it says before calling sine in that it called the function and it printed the value then it said after calling sign so it decorated sign function it decorated cause function so this is how you decorated a third party function okay
So, what can we say about a decorator? Once again, a decorator can be called as, what is it called as? It can say that decorator is a callable, is a callable Python, Python object that is used to callable that is used to modify modify what used to modify a function method or class definition modify can also be told with a word called as decorate hope you understood this right so this is how we understand functions in detail okay let's see if uh, you know let's see if i can use more arguments okay let me see if i can use more more arguments okay is it possible to use more arguments yes it is possible to use more arguments how if instead of x over here if i define our decorator if i define it by saying star arguments which means it's going to be a list let's say over here i'm going to define some functions so there is going to be a def succ of x which returns what does it return it returns x plus 1 there is another function let me call it as def right it returns let's say def add it takes in two variables a comma b and it returns a plus b now you want to decorate both with the same decorator two functions one is having one parameter one is having two parameters you can't do it with current function wrapper with with just one argument when it was just one argument when i just said x you can decorate only with one particular you can only decorate this particular function by saying at our decorator right i'll just remove the sign and cause for now and i'll remove this you don't need to import this too. yeah so i can do that so succ can be called when you called succ and if i pass the value 10 okay it's going to be decorated f5 after before calling succ after calling succ what if i decorated r decorator what will happen oh uh, sorry if i decorated add what will happen over here if i say succ of instead of 10 let me say okay after this i say add of a plus a comma b that is 5 comma 6 let's see oh what does it say when you call add it says function wrapper takes one position argument but you give two that means i need this function wrapper should take in multiple arguments so i'm going to say star ar gs so now i'm going to just print function okay whatever is a function i need to send whatever is the arguments in the function how do i send it again by sending it with unpacking this is packing the arguments this is unpacking the arguments by sending whatever is it. so if i say function f5 now if i run this it's going to return oh 5 plus 6 is also 11 and 10 plus 1 is also 11 because this is going to return the successor and this is going to return the addition of 5 and 6 so if i pass over here 15 and 6 it's going to be so both are going to be so one is before calling successor it's going to be 11 add function is called with two parameters and that's going to be 21 hope that is clearly understood so this is how we have functions of different arguments which is being sent now we are going to see some use cases or some applications of decorators where can we apply decorators okay so a use case of a decorator so let's start off with a new file this has become too compact for now let's start off with a new file and let me begin with a use case for a decorator
file. I'll just save this file as decor use case. 